I have been spending time with the Lord, and the Lord just gave me a powerful message on what it is to be Spirit-led. Many of you do not really understand what it is to be Spirit-led, and we spend our life in church and we get focused on all the do's and the don'ts in the Bible. That Mosaic Law was sent to us or given to us so that we would know all the possibilities that there are with sin. Now, no one man commits all of those sins, but we commit some of them or deal with some of them. Um, but the Mosaic Law lists every man's sin so that all men would know what sin is and we would each deal with our individual sin. So many of us within the church, we are caught up with do's and don'ts and we don't understand how the Holy Spirit works, how we went from the Mosaic Law or the legal letter to following the work of the Holy Spirit. If I ask you, if you're Spirit-led, would you be able to say, yes, Scott, every day the Holy Spirit is dealing with me on an issue. Yes, He speaks to me. The sad fact is that many of us are not Spirit-led. We don't even know what it means to be led by the Spirit or to walk in the Spirit. So this month, I want to get this message in your hand for free. I want to do it for free. I want to send every person that requests um, this month's uh, message, Spirit-led, you can get it for free simply by giving me your information. I'm going to send it to you by mail. And I'm so excited to be able to offer that this month. I want to thank you for your support. I want to thank God for the Fervent Fire partners that are faithfully supporting, allowing us to do this, to send this to you so you can have ministry in your life. Well, I want to take a moment and I want to look at a few scripture texts, okay? Let's go first to John 6, 63 through 64. You ready? It is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. But there are some of you that believe not. The point of the Holy Spirit is to come and lead you into the truth of God's word. Some of you think the do's and the don'ts is the truth. No, no, no. The truth of God's word is to reveal at the core of you the truth of why you sin. The truth of where it's coming from, the truth of what spirit is behind it. The Holy Spirit is coming to address that in your life. And you need to understand this today. You know, Abraham was a great man of faith, and he was not bound by a legal law or the letter of this book. you got to understand, this didn't even come to existence until Moses wrote it down. And Moses had to write, write it down because people were coming to him so much to ask God in him what was right and what was wrong. So the Mosaic Law is simply a book that lets all of us know what sin is. But Abraham was led differently. He was led by the voice of the Spirit. The Spirit of the living God led Abraham, or Abram, into that promised land. And if you get focused on the legal law and just doing the do's and don'ts, you will never reach your promised land. It, your life has to be Spirit-directed so that you can find truth. Now, Galatians 3, 6 through 7. It is the Spirit that quickeneth, I already read that one, sorry. Hebrews 12, 25, let's go there. See that you refuse him not that speaks. For if they escape not who refused him that spake on earth, how much more shall we not escape if we turn away from him that speaketh in heaven? I want you to understand that he's talking about God is speaking directly to you from heaven. The Holy Spirit is trying to lead your life. He's trying to guide you. So many of us, we go to church every week and we just hear the sermon. We think we know. You don't know. Not until you're spirit-led. The Holy Spirit is trying to move into your life. He's trying to show you what to do next, what you need to do next. And every man is different. We're dealing with different things at different times. But the same voice of the Holy Spirit is trying to lead us. I'm going to turn over there to Galatians 3 through 6. I think I have the wrong scripture down. Galatians. Find it here. Galatians, there it is. 3, 6 through 7. It says this. It says, Even as Abraham believed God, and it was counted to him for righteousness, know ye therefore that they which are of faith, the same are the children of Abraham. And the scripture, foreseeing that God would justify the heathen through faith, preached before the gospel unto Abraham, saying, In thee shall all nations be blessed, so that they which be of faith are blessed with faithful Abraham. The point is, some of you, you have faith in your denomination, you have faith in church attendance, you have faith in a work. But until you hear the voice of God and the voice of God speaks and you put your faith in trusting the inward voice of God and obeying it, obeying it, 
moving into the works, whatever God asks you to do. You will not experience the truth like you need to. You know, um, the Bible says, faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word. And some of you hear many voices, but you don't know which voice to hear. So first thing we do is we come to the Lord, we begin to study the word so we see how he talked to other people. Then we start expecting God to lead us in the spirit and talk to us. In the coming weeks, you're going to hear different parts of this message, but I want to send you the whole thing. Go right now, go right now to ferventfire.com and send in your request. You can email me at ferventfire at sbcglobal.net. You can go there, send me that request with your name, your address, and I'll get that to you. Better yet, we have a brand new prayer line, a brand new um, believer empowerment line, and I want to get that number to you um, right now. Let me find it here on my desk. The number is 539-777-0829. 539 539- 777-0829. That's 539-777-0829. Call that right now and leave your name and your phone number and we'll call you back, get your information and get that out to you. We will get it out to you, I promise. We'll get the CD into your hands. So I'm waiting to hear you call, waiting for you to go to ferventfire.com, email me, whatever. We want to get this to you this month. It's a powerful message and it will explain a lot of things to you. Let me pray for you. Heavenly Father, I loose the Holy Spirit over this person's life. God, I thank you, God, for breaking legalism. I thank you, God, this day for beginning to show them how to be led by your Spirit to deal with each one of their issues, God, in this lifetime. I bind the Spirit of darkness and I command the Spirit of light to loose over them. Holy Spirit, right now, touch each and every one of them. Heal their body, set their spirit free. And God, work a work that they've never seen you work before. In Jesus' name, amen.